Once you've created assignments in Google Classroom, you may want to attach a rubric to help you grade that assignment. So let's take a look at this assignment, this expository writing assignment. Uh, I've got a title and directions. I have either added or created resources to attach to this writing assignment. I've pushed it to my class and to any specific students I want to uh, push it to. I've set a point value and a due date, and I've added a topic to this assignment. So everything's ready to go. And at this time, notice here at the bottom of my assignment page, I see this option for adding a rubric. So when you click this rubric button, you'll see three options for rubrics you can add. The first one is to create a rubric, and when you're creating a rubric, you're gonna be doing so from scratch, and you're gonna be doing it here inside of Google Classroom. If you're reusing a rubric, you're going to be able to access any rubrics you've used in any other class that you've been teaching in Google Classroom. Uh, you can attach any of those rubrics to this assignment. And finally, when you import from Google Sheets, you will have to use a specific template to create that rubric, but then you can import it directly into the Google Classroom rubric creator. So we'll look at all three of those options. Let's start with creating a rubric from scratch. So we notice the title of the essay comes in, and by default we are using scoring, and that just means that um, the point values will accumulate into a score so that you can use that and uh, factor it into their overall grade. So we'll start here with criterion title. That's going to be the element that you are assessing. So we'll start with uh, grammar. And then the criterion description is what um, characteristics we're looking for. And then we start with our point values. And I'm just going to do a few to show you what it looks like. We'll start with our highest point value, give it a title, and then a description of how to get four points. And when we're ready to add a new point value, we'll click the plus symbol to the right. And we'll just start going down the line. And again, we'll do again for the next level. And if you've made rubrics before, this is going to look very familiar to you. So you need to have all of this information filled in. When you're ready, you can add another criterion to your rubric. So we use the, bottom at the button at the bottom to add a new criterion. So maybe here we're looking for clarity. And again, we describe the characteristics of clarity that we're looking for. We add our point value. We add our level title and how to get the four points and again we add another card to the right put in our point value and then how to get that many points so you can see the pattern here you're just adding criterion and then adding each of those levels uh, in points using the plus symbols. When you're done building your rubric you can use the save button in the upper right corner and when you do that, it's going to attach the rubric to your assignment. Your students will be able to see that rubric when they're, when they're uh, completing the assignment, so they can make sure that they are uh, reaching all of the goals you've set for that assignment. Let's hit the plus, or sorry, the X, and get rid of that. Now let's take a look at the second option, which was to reuse a rubric from a different class. It could also be from this class if I have already used rubrics in another assignment. So I'll hit reuse rubric. And by default, it shows me the rubrics for this class. Notice at the top, I'm looking at this class. And so I can toggle between this class and others by using the drop down at the top. And I'll choose a class I know has some rubrics. And I have one here that's worth 35 points. And I'll choose Select. So it attaches that rubric to the assignment. Let's click on it to see what it has. And this is what the rubric looks like. It's all fleshed out with lots of information ready to be used. So you can see that by developing a rubric in one of your classes and spending a lot of time to build the content in that rubric uh, is going to pay off for you because you don't have to keep recreating it. You can reuse it for other assignments. The third option that you have for putting a rubric on an assignment is to import from Sheets. Now, a word to the wise, you do need to use a very specific format in your Google Sheets, but you can see here what it will look like. This is just a Google Sheet that I have in my Google Drive and I'm going to attach it and it opens it up for me in the rubric builder and you can see that all the point values and all of the uh, levels have been fleshed out they're all where I want them 
and if this is how I like it, I can save it. If there's any criterion that I want to get rid of, I can use the three dots in the top right corner, and I can delete this criterion. I also have the option to move things up and down so that they're in the order that I prefer. I can click Save, and now that rubric is attached to the assignment. So there you have it. Those are the three ways to add a rubric to an assignment in Google Classroom.